guys, welcome back. Now we are working on question number 37, which says, what are all values of x for which 8 minus x squared is less than 5? So in order to solve this problem, I'm going to treat this inequality roughly as just an equal sign, and I'm going to isolate x. So first thing I'm going to do is bring the 8 over here. So I'm going to get a negative x squared is less than 5 minus 8, which is negative 3. Now I'm going to divide by negative 1 because I want this to be positive. And the rule with inequalities is that whenever you divide or multiply by a negative 1, the sign flips. So for the most part, you can treat this like an equal sign, but that's pretty much the one rule you have to remember. If you multiply or divide by a negative 1, you have to flip the sign. So now I'm going to get x squared is greater than 3. Now, to solve for x, I'm going to take the square root of this side and the square root of this side, and I'm going to get x is greater than 3. However, I guess actually I probably shouldn't quite go that far. x squared is greater than 3. Because really what's happening here is if you think of the, of the parabola x squared, let's just graph that. This parabola looks something like this. This is just x squared and you're looking for the values where its y value is greater than 3. So this is 1, 2, 3. And the x values are somewhere, let's say here, and somewhere here. So, uh, yeah, so basically like all of this area and all of this area. So that's where it gets a bit confusing or you kind of have to think with inequalities because it's not quite as simple as just taking the square root of both sides because here, I actually made a mistake there, it would have been x is greater than plus or minus square root of 3. But that would imply this is actually going to be square root of 3. This is going to be negative square root of 3. If we just went with this solution, that would imply that it's this for x is greater than uh, rad 3, but it's also this area for x is greater than negative rad 3. But that is not right. So what you have to do instead is you have to set up a number line and you have to break apart so you have rad 3 and then you have negative rad 3. This is 0. And then you have to pick a point in each one of these areas. So this area, or here I'll start on this area, this area, and this area, and check each one. So typically uh, negative rad 3 is like negative 1.7. So I would test negative 2. So negative 2 squared is greater than 3. Is this true or false? Negative 2 squared is 4. 4 is greater than 3. This is true. So this would be a solution. So I'm going to put a solution over here. Now let's check in this range. Let's check 0. 0 squared is greater than 3. 0 is greater than 3. That is not true. So this is not a solution. Now let's check over here. Let's pick out 2. 2 squared is greater than 3. 4 is greater than 3. This is also true. So this here is also a solution. So based on that, we know that x must be less than negative rad 3, or x must be greater than rad 3. So we have this, and we have this. So looking at our answer choices, it would be option A. So if you're very familiar with graphing parabolas, and you can kind of think of it this way, I find this to be like the most conceptual and easiest. However, if you struggle with that, definitely do it this way, do it algebraically. So once you get to the x squared step, once you get here, basically just solve for x like I did in this step. So x equals plus or minus rad 3. Mark those down on a number line. Pick one number to the left. So you have this interval here. Pick one number over here. Pick one number in this interval. Oops, I'm going to make a mess of my screen. So in between these numbers and then pick one interval on this side. So on this interval here. All right, well, I apologize if that video was a bit hard to follow, but hopefully you got it. Um, if not, I would recommend reviewing solving uh, inequalities. You could probably look up like parabolic inequalities or maybe even um, just polynomial inequalities and how to solve. All right, well, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, requests, anything like that, please leave them in the comment box below and I'll be sure to get back to you. All right, thanks for watching.